suppose you want a job automated in such a way that you like some task to take place or some action to take place within your instance uh, at a time when no one will be using the system. Suppose you want maybe uh, the system to send emails to users or customers at a specific time of the day or at a specific date. How are you going to do that inside of ERP Next? I have already covered um, uh, uh, how to do that using in, in, inside of Linux. Um, and in this video, what I want to show you is how to do the same using uh, ERP Next. That is inside of ERP Next. Of course, ERP Next writes on the cron job that is uh, is is there on in, in the Linux operating system, and therefore that is what you are going to be using. So here I have opened a file, and let me just increase the font so that you can see. So this file is the hooks.py file, and remember we are using um, our, our 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 custom app here, so. Uh, inside of the library app, we have a file here. Let me open our app. We have a file here called hooks.py. And this file will come by default with all the applications that you will create. You will have this hooks.py file. Inside of hooks.py file, we have this section. It is by default commented out. It's called scheduler events. This scheduler events is where you're going to be putting the, uh, the events that you like to run uh, on a schedule. So in this example, I have added by default the anomaly for let me and comment them out so that uh, they are able you can able to be able to see them well. So by default they are normally five one two three four and five the all the daily the hourly weekly and monthly the all uh, works uh, 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 runs every four minutes so every every function that you're going to be putting here will be executed every four minutes by our application. Daily, of course, uh, works, uh, is called every once every day. And therefore, this one is going to run at midnight of every day. Hourly is run per hour, so it, it is run every time a new hour is starting. Weekly is run every week, and it is run on the first day of the week. In our case here, it is Sunday. Monthly is run one day every month. And so maybe this is something to do with uh, some things that you need to be ran only one time, one time in a month, and it is run at the beginning of a new month. So, if you have some other specific tasks that you like to schedule, you may need to do a cron job for that. So I have here because I want us to define a function that is going to be called here that runs every single minute. So for the purposes of our testing, because we don't have a lot of time to just stay here and wait for it to run. So I had to do this, uh, but this will work exactly the same way as these others will work. So you can test them that way. And here, if you don't know what this means, I have done a video for this before. So you can just check my other video for cron jobs. It is the same thing. So this one uh, in our example here means this is going to run uh, every minute. And then here I have written a uh, a path this is a dotted dotted path to the function that i would like to run uh, when uh, a new minute has uh, has uh, when when our clock has switched to a new minute okay so here you can see we have library management mm. and that is our that is our that is our module here and then we have tasks remember the dotted the, 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 in this dotted path this is the app uh, i mean the module then this is the file so what I did, I went ahead and created a new file inside of this directory, the same directory which has hooks, and I called it tasks.py. So if I open tasks.py now, I have two functions, so functions I, have, I have defined here. Uh, they, are, they are empty for now, okay? And then inside of that, in, in every minute I want to run a function called cron. So this is why I have this function here called cron. And what I would like us to do in this example today I would like us to uh, to create a node. You can see here, right now my, my file is uh, empty. I can reload this so that you can see. So how I would like us to automate this. This is empty now. How I would like us to automate this for, your, for the sake of this tutorial is that we are going to write a function here that is going to generate a random string 
and receive it as a note every minute inside of uh, the notes uh, doc type okay so let's go ahead and do that so the first thing i'm going to do here is maybe uh for the purposes of testing uh, but i'll write that when we get there so i can do something like um let me generate uh, letters uh, variable which is going to have uh, which is going to home the string dot and i may need to import this string up here so i will say import string and then down here i can be able to say string dot and then i'm going to do as sorry asc uh, I, I, that one, letters. And then down here, I'm going to say note. Now I, I want to generate my note using the letters function. And then I'm going to say equals. And then I'm going to just be, I'm going to be, be joining this. I'm, I'm going to be joining this. So this is a dot uh, join. And then what I'm going to do here is random. And by the way, this is, these, these are not related to ERP next. These are, this just, I'm just generating a random string here. And again, I may need to import the random so that I'm able to use it down here. And then here, I'll be able to say random dot choice, okay? Random dot choice. And then here, I'm going to use the letters, uh, letters that we have here, okay? And then inside of these letters uh, here, what I want to do is I want to write a for function. And then I'll say for i in, okay? in range because i want to generate a string uh, 20 characters long so for i in range all right so i want to generate that uh, a string that is 20 characters long and then i can go ahead and save this one now has a string that is 20 characters long and now let me go ahead and do note now this is here next note equals frappe dot get uh, dot get uh, get doc okay Remember, this is the ORM to insert a new a new doc type, a new uh, item in the doc type, and then I'm going to do an object here that is going to receive the doc uh, type. Remember, and then the doc type that I want to be working with here is the not doc type. Okay, and then down here, what I'm going to do is to save something. So if you come to a doc type here, you see we have only one item here, that, uh, one field here that is mandatory, and that is the title. And that is what we are going to be inserting for the purpose of this tutorial. Again, we can reload this to make sure that we don't have anything here. And then here, I can go ahead and say title uh, equals note. This note, remember, is a string that we just generated here. Okay, so we can just call this something like new note to be so that we can new underscore note. Sorry, new underscore note. So new note equals frappe dog get dog and then we have those that note is what we have generated here and then the norm is this new note uh, new note we need to insert it into our database okay and then we can do frappe dot db dot commit okay frappe dot db dot commit and that this function is supposed to be able to work now so if i save it and i also go ahead and save my 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 scheduler or my hooks file well, I am expecting that this schedule is going to start working and saving my note into my database every time, but this is not going to work. So even if we waited this uh, for this time to skip to 20, the 20th minute, there is not going to be a note here. Basically, because you need to do some something else. So I can just reload this so that you can we can be sure. We will need to do something else so that uh, our our schedule can be called. But before that, uh, how we test that the scheduler is working, let me just clear this. And I can increase the fault here again so that you can see. You can test to see whether your scheduler is working. And how you do that, you do bench and then uh, you give the name of your site. So mine is frappe.training and then you say execute. Remember, I want to test whether my, uh, my schedule is working fine. And then I give a dotted path to my to my function, and this is going to be exactly what is what I have provided on the on the task dot the task dot py file. All right, so I can copy this, copy, and then I paste it here. Then I try to run it, and when we see this, it means that scheduler is working. And now when we come here, we will correct. We see that this one has been inserted. Let me delete it, delete it. 
and then uh, for the purpose of testing if maybe you see this this thing has just kept quiet but it has actually run the schedule so what you can do maybe to test that we can do something here up here you can do something like print so that you see whether your thing is hitting here and we can print something like um uh, what is it now inserting a new node okay something like that and we can also give some spaces here maybe two so that we can see where our output has been printed and then we can go back to our terminal rerun the same fun that function and you see here we are in that function it is telling us inserting a new node and now we are sure that here we have a new node but note that i am triggering this uh, i am triggering this uh, this this function or this schedule manually and we want it to be run every single minute so once you have written your cron and it is working fine and you have connected it to a function you have written all the logic of your function what you need to do next is uh just give run the function uh run the command here to make sure that everything is compiled properly and is ready to run so let me go ahead and delete this or i can even leave it there we are going to see uh, others being added okay so we, we you need to go here and do bench migrate so that you are your cron job can can get kicked uh, automatically so I will do that now and this is success, uh, supposed to be successful if all goes well and then after this our schedule is going to start running automatically very good this is successful and now uh, let me just refresh this all right we are at 2 30 a.m and once this uh, uh, time skips to 31 we are expecting that we are going to see a new note added here all right so let's keep refreshing we are still at 230 and we have one one note so when we go to 31 we expect that we're going to have a new note let's see what happens we can give it some time just to be sure that it's working our time has skipped to 31 so now we try to reload and yes we have a new note that has been created and you can see it is saying now so this one was created one minute ago and this one is saying it has been created now so this one has been inserted here by our cron job so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video